I will really miss this view. That is my car tour. I'm so tired. <laughs> I think, by golly, it just might be crazy enough to work. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another packing, getting life together, last couple days in this apartment vlog. The last couple of vlogs were like packing, packing. Today and tomorrow, I have more of like, let's get all the appointments done that I need to, like max grooming. I just had therapy. I have a hair appointment tomorrow. Just all the things to get us set up to be on the road and also get my car rig set up. What I mean by car rig, in case, in case you've missed it, is I'm creating basically a little go rig, I've been calling it, um, to have everything I need easily accessible in my car. I have a general game plan, but I wanna get it a little more finalized and fleshed out and then show you everything that I'm taking on the road as well. So that's kind of what's up. Today, like I said, I had therapy, Max has grooming. I have an IV appointment later because I felt a little tickle in my throat and I don't have time to get sick. So I'm gonna try to do one of those. It's getting ready and dressed for the day, but I have a couple new outfits that I'm really excited to try on. So I was waiting to get dressed until I could get dressed with you all so that we could see those and try them on and have a good, active, productive day. Guess who I got a package from? Are y'all down for a little try on haul? I only have two outfits, but I am freaking out because I'm getting to work with Outdoor Voices on today's video. Have y'all heard? I'm sure you've heard of Outdoor Voices because I've actually gone there several times in vlogs with my sister. This is my sister Jacqueline's all time favorite brand. And so I, she was really excited to find out that I was able to work with them. Um, they are technical apparel for recreation, but also just like super cute comfy fits that are gonna be super handy while moving because you can be active in them and then they're also just cute enough for me to go to appointments and stuff in between, go grab dinner with friends tomorrow. So I picked up two things, but being able to work with them means a couple things. First off, it means I can link all these things down in my description box. So if you wanna shop them, it actually helps to support my channel, which when brands do that, it is so kind to creators. So I'm forever thankful. They are giving me a discount code. I'm gonna have it in the description. I'm still waiting on it, but that will get you 20% off of your first order if you haven't shopped with Outdoor Voices before. Just in time for the holidays, if you need any gifts. Okay, I wanna show you these first because these have been on my list forever. I actually was showing Juliana these shorts last week because I was like, these would be really cute on you before I knew I would get to do this. Um, these are the Rectrek Color Block 3 inch shorts and I just love the like wavy color block pattern, the little buckle. They're so stinking cute, they're unique. They're great material. Um, these are great for just on the go. Also, if you're into hiking, I feel like that's so cute for hiking. And to go with it, I got this Mega Fleece Crew Neck. And I feel like we should try both these on together. I also got a little sports bra to go with it as well. This is called the Steeple Chase Bra, and it's in like this linen-y color. And I feel like this is such a good outfit, maybe for today, because today is gonna be a little bit chillier than tomorrow, so I think having a fleece crew neck could be a good option. So let's try all that on. Let's go see. First, I wanna show you the way that this sports bra fits. This is so comfortable. It's unlined, but it feels like it has a ton of support in this linen color. And here's the back of it. I like it a lot. Let's try on the fleece. Here's the outfit. The fleece crew neck with these color block shorts. I feel so stinking cute. I feel like I can do things, but I also am just like confidently myself. I feel like this is the perfect outfit for today because it's in the 60s right now, it's getting up to the 70s. So something long sleeve paired with some shorts. I just really feel so, I feel like an Austin girly. I think Outdoor Voices started in Austin, actually. Let me confirm that. They are headquartered in Austin, I knew it, because all of this is just very like cool girl, outdoorsy, let's go to Zilker Park vibes. And then I think that this next outfit could be good for tomorrow. I got the seamless rib 7 8 legging and then also the matching seamless rib long line bra. This is made out of recycled material, which I really love. And I love the little hint of like almost magenta around the waistband and the bottom of the long line bra. 
It also comes in a pine color. Maybe I'll get both, but <laughs> let's try this on. Let's see how it fits. And I feel like this would be a perfect thing for tomorrow and I could throw on a little jacket with it for dinner after running errands all day, which would be awesome. Okay, this set is so comfortable, so flattering. One thing I really love is the mix between high-waisted and long line, because you only get like a little hint of skin. So it feels very like flirty and cute to me, but I don't at all feel overexposed. Also this material, incredibly stretchy. Like I feel very comfortable. I feel like it has a good amount of hold, but a good amount of like movability in it as well. And then I prefer things that are ribbed. A lot of the time I feel like they're more flattering. Um, and so I just, I really, I want it to be tomorrow now so that I can wear this. Aha, I got the code, it's code Mikkel. That'll get you 20% off your first order and I'll have the links down below. Styled my hair a little more properly, got on my juice, and I actually really am feeling so cute, even with my bruise on display, which is actually healing up very nicely. Are you ready to go get groomed? Everybody take a last look at this fluffy teddy bear because you're gonna have a crew cut boy when you're back. I just love you so much. Okay, let's go get groomed. Smile, say bye, I'm gonna go get so handsome. <laughs>
That is my cleaning bag. That is hopefully everything I should need to keep my space feeling somewhat clean. The next thing I'm thinking is in the laptop sleeve of this backpack, a cutting board. I don't trust cutting boards at rentals as a celiac person. I'm like, so much bread has been cut on this that I would rather just have my own. Please fit. I could, I could buy a smaller one if not. Will she zip? <gasps> oh, so close. <gasps> a robber is gonna break in my car and think it's a laptop and be so disappointed to find out it's laundry detergent, a cutting board. We got a spatula, a rubber spatula, a spoon, one oven mitt, and a chef knife. I don't know how many people know this about me anymore, but for a while I was a line cook. I was the only female in the kitchen. It was a wild time. I think I was 1920. And this is how you, when you're a line cook, you have to bring your own knives. That's just how it goes. And if you're, you know, a, a really great cook or chef, you have like a professional knife rolled up, but me and all the boys, would tape a towel around our knives like this to bring it to work. I had a smaller one and it was taped a lot better, but this feels very reminiscent to me. So those are all the cooking and cleaning things besides some spices, which I could put in the front pocket to not be in the same compartment as the cleaning supplies. These are the greatest. They're like spice blends from Whole Foods and they're a couple bucks a piece. Nordic Foragers. Blackening, a fur cocky, a Cajun, and then just a garlic lemon. So hopefully those are all besides salt and pepper. Hopefully, hopefully rentals will all have salt and pepper. Those are in the front pocket. And then I was thinking in the water bottle pocket, a big old thing of olive oil. Let's see if she fits. Okay. Everything I need to cook and clean. Oh, kitchen scissors. Last thing. I'm hoping it's time to pick up Max soon, um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna see how much I can reduce down some of my pillows. I have four more on my bed and I'll be traveling with one, but I got these vacuum bags and I wanted to see if I can push out a lot of air with just like weight because my vacuum doesn't love vacuuming out of vacuum bags. So let's see. Don't mind me, I'll just be here for the next however many minutes. Okay, not too bad with no vacuum. It's it's not like super, super tight, but sure takes up a lot less space than three huge king size pillows. Ha ha, good news, Max is ready. Um, let's go get him. I bet he's so handsome. Cue the crazies. <laughs> Are you so crazy after the groomer? Are you so crazy? Yeah. I wanted to do one more run to my storage unit here. Um, take a couple things, like for example, this was the bouquet that Jordy brought me on our first date, and I don't know how to I don't know how to store it, so I'm just gonna put it on the desk in the storage unit, and then take a couple extra little things. And honestly, I haven't seen it since Jordy did the last few runs for me when he was here. So I haven't seen it with all the stuff in it really. So let's take a few things and, and go look at it. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little storage unit update of the layout. I think I'm gonna be taking this leather chair back to my apartment so movers can put it in storage probably. We still have the desk slash studio for Jacqueline and Mark and Jordy to work at. We still have on this side a lounge corner with the cool light. We have the skateboard that I'll probably want in Austin, but not in my car. We have all the clothes that were cut from my closet that I still will have access to. So we have like long sleeves, dresses, sweaters, short sleeves, jackets, bottoms. And then behind the curtain, back here, we have not too much beauty things that I might want access to dresser things. Those are still the Jancy the Label sweatshirts. I need to figure out something to do with those. Um, this is just random that I might want access to. So many random things in there. A couple suitcases. Those are Jacqueline and Mark's. I'll put mine in there. We have shoes and then I just put more shoes in here and I might even like kind of display some shoes somewhere so I can come in and pick out my shoes but I do think that this is going to go back with me to go into real storage later. 
it's officially evening. I have been all IV'd up and I'm actually feeling like more hydrated. I always pee a lot after an IV, sorry if that's TMI, but just doing a little bit of computer work. And apparently my sweet mom's sending me soup for dinner, which is very sweet, especially considering I packed away all of my cooking supplies. <laughs> but I think my plan for tonight is computer work, do one more load of laundry, and I think I'm gonna pack my suitcase, which is gonna be what I'll be taking for shorter trips and live out of that for the next couple days. And then I'm flying to Nashville just for a couple nights. So I'm gonna pack that to live out of for the next like five nights. So that that way tomorrow morning, we can completely pack up my car and I won't need that stuff until later. So that's my task for tonight. I'll see y'all tomorrow for us to put those final little touches on and, and do a little car pack tour and see if it all fits. I hope it all fits. <laughs> Hi friends, good morning. Um, day two of this vlog. I am ready, I'm dressed in this cute little set, but I have bad news. <laughs> Last night I did laundry and I packed my suitcase and then I put the remaining clothes in the garment bags. And I have too many. I have to pare down further, which is kind of a lot to think through. So I'm gonna move more to the storage unit closet. And take less on the road. It's probably good for me to have the the creative challenge and then I can always come and swap out clothes in Austin however frequently I want to but let's try that because then we should be able to load the car I think let's pare down further I also have a couple dresses and jackets on this side but for example I packed three of these I don't need both the blues so maybe I'll say goodbye to this blue one for now this is mostly swim cover-up don't think I'll be doing a lot of swimming love this sweater but it takes up a lot of space because it's pretty, it's more of a winter than a fall with the turtleneck, it's pretty warm. I can say bye to this one for now. I've had this one for a while. You've had your days, I'll come back to you. taking a little intermission for some real life feelings um, because I think that's important. I think I'm just feeling a little frazzly this morning. Whenever I feel frazzly, just like my emotional capacity is lower. I've had a few of my friends cancel plans this week. You know, sickness is going around and it's totally fine. But I just had another friend cancel plans and I think I feel like my social meter is running a little low. Like with a few days left in this apartment, it kind of sucks to I feel like you're, you know, shooting a shot with some of the people that you really love and then have it be changed or turned down it can like evoke feelings of loneliness even when they're not true. But I know it's also just like, I've been dealing with work stuff this morning and I'm trying to think through the last little bit of logistics and not feeling 100% well. Um, and I always get more emotional when I'm not feeling 100% well. And then having a couple people cancel on me at the same time kind of feels like bummer. I was looking forward to that amongst all the chaos and craziness and work and stuff. So I don't know, just sharing. Sometimes I'm like, that's a stupid thing to be sad about, Mikkel. And then I'm like, well, I guess there's a lot of factors going in. And um, if I were to tell someone else that they felt stupid for feeling bummed about feeling lonely in some capacity, then that would be very invalidating. So I'm not gonna say that to myself either. I'm gonna drink some water and rally, take a load to the storage unit, and then hopefully start packing up my car. That's the goal. Okay, we got the example rig pretty much packed up. It's windy up here and my mic really doesn't like wind, so I hope y'all can hear me okay. But I'm gonna take you through, show you everything I have, and then like the last few things I plan to throw in. I might cut down on my clothes a little bit more because I can't see out of my rear view window with that much clothes. So we'll figure that part out, but here's what we got so far. So first things first, this is the suitcase that I could live out of. This is what I'll be taking to Nashville when I fly. And then my shorter trips, I'll probably only really take that inside um, and switch out the clothes occasionally. Here's my hanging clothes. As you can clearly see, because it takes up all of the space. I have in these little divots, my ankle weights. And in this divot, my arm weights to get my workouts in. And then down here, I have all of my organizers with my folded clothes that y'all help me pack. It's basically instead of a dresser, I'm treating these like drawers. And then my cooking bag. 
I put it back here because I'll need the least access to it, I think, and it's easier to grab the other bags from the back seat. So speaking of the back seat, let me go show you that. Over here we have the not max side. I've decided to bring my favorite quilt because that could be used as a blanket, as a comforter. Um, and I don't know what the bedding is going to be like in a lot of the spots I stay. I'll be there during winter. I want to make sure I have warm bedding and it's also just like cute for videos. So I folded that underneath all of my bags. I have Max's backpack with all of his toys and treats and snacks and meds. My shoe bag. I've narrowed down all my shoes to just this and I am a shoe girl. So that was hard. I, I made a little shoe layout in the storage unit here though. Beauty bag. This has, you know, my hair dryer, shower things, full size products, things that are not in my suitcase are all in this bag. On each floorboard behind each seat, I have one of these felt laundry baskets. Some spots I'll be there for a month. I'll want laundry baskets and I have things that are more long-term inside of these. I want to add some things, but like I have my pan, these are all little luxuries that I think will make my home feel more like home. My favorite soaps for the bathroom. The other one I have a candle, some art. I'm bringing my own bath towels and I'm gonna put my sheets and pillows in there. I'm also gonna put my favorite mugs in there. Is that all? The only other things that I will be putting in here besides bedding, towels, mugs is also my slippers and um, my barefoot dreams blanket because that means a lot to me. This amount of space on the floorboard down here I'm hoping will fit my Nespresso um, because that is something that just makes my everyday so happy and saves me money not going out. Yeah, that's totally wide enough. There's my hand for a scale. So my Nespresso is going to go down there, move in day. And then I'll show you Max's side. I put Max's side opposite of my driver's side so I can attend to him the most. His seatbelt is on this side as well. And I put this, he loves to just lay down and nap in the back seat. And this is like so much room. It's two full seats of basically dog bed for him to nap in only really while we're driving. And then I have the other one of these. Oh, I forgot my jewelry case is in one of these as well. Definitely non-essential, but will be nice to have. But I have my other laundry basket on this side. Yeah, just candles and towels and art in there right now. <laughs> and then I'll show you the front seat plan. I will really miss this view. I'll have to come visit Jacqueline and Mark often and so I can have the skyline view. But okay, front seat. My goal for the front seat is to have it be as flex as possible because some drives I'll be doing by myself, one drive I'll be doing with my mom, one drive I'll be doing with Jordy. So just like having passenger while my car is fully packed, I think it's going to be important. So right now I'm putting everything that needs to go to my parents' house here. So the little pantry bin we packed is going to go up here, floorboard for this this week is going to actually have all of my house plants. Mom offered to water them. She's gonna temporarily adopt them and then I'll adopt them back when I have my own permanent home. So I'm gonna put those on a box on the floorboard, important documents. I think that that's really it that I'm taking to mom and dad's to leave there. I think for the times that I'm driving alone, I'm gonna have my backpack and my purse in the passenger seat and then probably also a little cooler with like road snacks and drinks, um, just accessible things while I'm driving. But that way, you know, it's really easy to not take snacks and just throw my backpack in the back seat as well and have it be a little less accessible when I have guests in here. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. As you can see, I can like kind of see out of the window back there. I think I need to get it down to two bags for the road and I'll just I'll either squish it or leave some clothes at my parents too. But um, that is my car tour. That is what I've got. I've been putting a lot of thought into this. And I think by golly, it just might be crazy enough to work. That walk was actually lovely. Did you see the did you see the uh, ladybug? It's pretty cute. I'm gonna make myself a little mocktail before I do the last little bit of physical thing for the day. So I just have a Waterloo strawberry. Oh, Waterloo's so good. I think that they're Texas based. Did I make that up? Um, Austin distributed in Austin. Ah, that counts. So strawberry sparkling water. This is the one cup that I haven't packed away. <laughs> And then this is the daytime kin. This has a little bit of caffeine in it. And it also has um, like GABA, 5-HTP, different things that make you a little bit, you know, happier. I feel like could be helpful today. A little bit of that. 
top it off. A strawberry sparkling kin. Let's give her a taste. Not bad. Can the daytime one tastes a little medicinal, but it's not bad. My goal tonight is finish all the little annoying tasks so that tomorrow I'm starting a new vlog and we can have a really good Austin, last full Austin day until December. I'll be back for a couple weeks in December, but you know, as a actual permanent resident in Austin, it kind of feels a little bit sentimental. I've done a couple things already. I think it's going to be raining all day, but I finally placed a to-go order at a spot called OMG Squee. You might have seen it because it was on Queer Eye and they do 100% gluten-free donuts. And I've tried to go six times and they're always sold out. So I placed an order a couple days ago to pick up on Friday. Um, oh, and then I made dinner reservations at a Korean spot I love with Jacqueline and Mark tomorrow night. So I think that tomorrow I'm gonna try to enjoy the day as much as possible, assuming that I feel good. So I'm gonna do that, stay in tonight. Um, sweet Jordy Venmoed me to order in so that I can have a restful night since I don't have any cookware out anymore, which is so sweet of him. Do do those last little tasks, but like I said, I'll see you tomorrow for a whole new vlog, the very last day in this apartment, very last night in Austin, and then movers come and clear it out. So that's all gonna be the next vlog. But thanks again to Outdoor Voices for this cute set. Honestly, such a good time for the uh, packing stuff. My brain has stopped working. But Jacqueline came over last night. She's like, show me what you got from Outdoor Voices because she's such a fan. So I'll have that link down below. Don't forget the code that I got is Mikel. 20% off your first order. I don't see them do discounts very often. So that's like a huge treat and I'm thankful that they gave it to me. So thank you for being with me in sickness and in health. <laughs> I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow for the last vlog in this apartment. For me, but in a couple days for you. Okay, you get it. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from?